There is a new football manager out, which means it is time for a new football manager save. Hello, everybody. Bradley here, your resident Canadian football manager. And today we are starting our first save of FM24 with Wrexham AFC in League Two in England. And you might be saying, why Wrexham? And I'm going to say because we love Ryan Reynolds and he purchased a football team. So we're going to manage it. This episode has the first two matches of the season, as well as a couple of things we did setting up our save before that. If you would like all the uncut action feel free to head over to twitch.tv slash van bradley where this will be all streamed live there if you prefer these kind of cut up episodes though this is the place to be don't forget to subscribe let's hop in and let's start our career as the manager of wrexham afc wrexham have to <laughs> look at our goofy ass face wrexham have today confirmed the appointment of van bradley as the club's new head coach Eyebrows have been raised in the soccer world at the appointment of the inexperienced 28-year-old, and he is sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at this place that I will not be able to name appropriately, so I will not try. Welsh people, let me know. He replaces previous head coach Phil Parkinson. Sorry, Phil. Get out of here. Reputation banana bananas. Bananas, because Ryan Reynolds owns this team, and, we, and Rob McElhinney is also here. But I'm here for Ryan. Media prediction first. That's going to make our lives easy. Are we really... Are we really going to be first? Didn't we just get promoted? Oh, that's a lot of pressure, actually. I think we just got promoted into this league. Transfer budget, 250k. That's not too bad. With a payroll of 130. Remember that we haven't done the transfer window yet, though, because this is our world. Let's just look around. Nickname, the Red Dragons. Cool. Worth 5.7 million. I think they paid 2 million for it, so that's okay. Uh, good training facilities, adequate youth facilities, not ideal, but we're getting there. Regional reputation, and we have our own youth ground, hell yeah. Okay, let's go to our tactics screen. Wide center backs. Stay wider. Wide center backs, yeah? Then, you got your two central midfielder players. We can mess around with these. We can faff about. You can do anything here. For now, deep line playmaker, box-to-box -box midfielder. This guy, sitting in the middle, pinging the balls around. This guy, box to box, just straight up and down the pitch. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Defending, attacking, defending, attacking, holding in the middle. That's what we want. Heck yeah, we don't need them to invert. We want them to just stay on where they are. Here we go. How do we feel about this? Ball playing defender, wide center back, wide center back. It, just a steady midfield, more defensive focus than offensive focus because we have the wingers going around. These two forwards lie a little deeper. And then we have Homie at the top pinging in the goals. Things are going great. So Steve Parkin is dumb as a sack of hammers. Sorry, Steve, if you're watching. So we're not going to get Steve to tell us anything about the players because he's at a six and a nine. Nice. Okay. All right. Head of youth development. You're better. Ten and ten. So we like we like our Homie Andy. Uh, David Jones, you're bad. You're bad. And Aiden, bad. Okay. Kathy can heal a wound. She can do stitches and shit. Hell yeah. Uh, how do you hire five? Just have two good ones instead of five useless ones. Get Kathy to bring a friend. This is awesome. So we have good depth at the positions we want. So we just need to get better. Yeah. Awesome. Three million in the balance, though. What's our projection? Oh, oh my goodness. And we're projected to, like, not lose a ton of money. How great is that? No debt. Yo, Ryan Reynolds is running a tight ship here. Oh, we're so happy with this. I don't have any fullbacks either. That is a good point. <laughs> that is a good reason why manning the post would not work. Uh, we'll mess around with this as we need to. I don't think that's right now. I think we're all good. Like the the AI has done a great job with set pieces and we'll just keep the, for, yeah, this is all fine. Boom. No, come on, come here. Yes. This is our off tactic. No, I'm, I'm, can we move over? There's room for both of you. Oh my God. Sports Interactive. I paid $60 for this game. Thank you. This is our other tactic. <laughs> this is tactic two, the we've, We've goofed it, Boogaloo. Yeah, not the not the three one four one one. <laughs> we don't want to train the three one four one one. That'll be our backup tactic. Okay. 
do I immediately buy a player based on how well he played for me in the previous football manager game? Do you want to see? Hold up one second. Watch this. I'm going to show you Luke McCormick. There he is. Look at that. Look at that. How many? 142 appearances, 28 goals. What did he do last season in the Premier League? 36 appearances in 38 Premier League games. Luke McCormick playing at a 6.9 in the Premier League. I know, Luke McCormick. Get him, get him. Okay, we're getting him. Let's get Luke McCormick. Let's see what we can do. What is that total? 275 plus 225 is 500. That's a total of 500. Let's go 550 total because he's a homie and we like Luke. And then they'll accept it. No percentage of profit though, sorry. Because when he plays 36 games out of 38 in the Premier League, he's a team player. Loves. I'm telling you, man, Luke McCormick slaps. Boom! Bristol Rovers! Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Oh, just because I like you, Luke. Get that appearance fee up there. Bankrupt old Ryan. I got on the phone with Ryan and he loves you, man. Get that assist bonus up there. Uh, I, I I feel positive and I think we should make the playoffs. Watch this. Watch this. Boom! You just match it. You just match it. Whatever the club expectation is. Look at that morale. Look at that team morale. Oh, yes. I want to give the young players a chance. Young player, but why would you do that? Can I transfer Sam? How excited are you to be Wrexham's new head coach? Smile warmly. I don't think I can hide my excitement. I am so, so happy right now. That sounds desperate, but I simp for Ryan Reynolds, so hey. All right, now we're rocking and rolling. Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Chat. Chat! Luke McCormick is here! Uh, Martin Vaghorn, I really quite like. Is it Vaghorn? No, it is Waghorn. He's English. Okay. I mean, he's just going to get worse over the year. But for the right price, he just doesn't... We need three strikers healthy at all times. He does kind of just do a job. He doesn't have a lot of patience, though. We'll do that. And do 4.2. Yeah. Okay, cool. I don't care. Again, I, I know a lot of people care about the numbers. I'm not one of them. All right, let's just get you registered. Okay, sorry, Jake. Bye. Yeah, Jake's gone anyway. Look, at he's better than our entire team. <laughs> this dude is going to come in and win the league. And you're loan listed? Hello, Daniel. I'm a simple man. My God, are you good? 700? Dude, can we get that nun slip? Can we go? I'll pay you. I'll pay you 900 to not have to put him in a specific position. Yo. How is Daniel Gore a high reputation player? He's 18. Hello, friends on YouTube. If you are watching this first match of the season, I just want to keep you up to date with all the transfers that have happened. If you want to watch this live, twitch.tv slash Van Bradley. Don't miss a minute. But here we are on the transfer screen. Uh, all the transfers. Where is, where is all this? Where is all this stuff? Why is the transfer history? Here we go. This is what I wanted. Um, a couple of ins and a couple of outs. Um, we have Will Fish and Daniel Gore coming in from Manchester United on loan. Uh, they will both single-handedly tear up the entirety of Skybet League 2 on their own. So they are great loans for us. They fit under our registration age, which is 21. So that is perfect. We got a few free transfers as well. Jamie Bowden to help fill out the midfield positions, as well as Martin Waghorn, who's a little old for our liking. He's going to slow down a little bit, but can just really do a good job up front scoring some goals. We have a few injuries right now as well, so that'll fill, uh, fill that in perfectly. Luke McCormick, a hero from a former save in FM23 for me. He played on my Bristol Rovers team that made it to the Premier League, and he was... Uh, an essential part of that run. So we purchased him for 425000 which is an overpay. And a lot of that is coming off the credit card next year. But you know what? We love Luke McCormick. And look, his value is already above a million. So we're going to make a profit. It's going to be glorious. Then we have Billy Waters, who starts the game with us. And Ryan Barnett, also who starts the game with us. I don't remember signing this guy. So if I did, I've forgotten already. On the way out, we had Jake Bickerstaff, who is bad, so he's gone. And we also had Bryce Hosanna, who's less bad, but he, we got a decent price for him, and he didn't fit into our tactical style, so that's all good. He's out of here as well. In terms of tactics, we are playing a 3-4-3 with wingers and wide center backs. I was trying my best not to use wingbacks or like advanced forward wingers because everyone always does, and I'm trying to be different and quirky and cool. We also have a metric, uh, like, absolute... 
ton of injuries. It's insane. We haven't even done anything specific, just a couple of friendlies. We haven't even been training particularly hard. You can see the injury risk levels here aren't even that high. Um, but we have 900 people out injured because that's how FM24 works. So you can see, look, I'm telling you, man, I usually run this on double and we are running it on normal and it's still nuts. So, uh, yeah. For our first match at home against Milton Keynes, MK Dons, McDons, if you will, we are playing our 3-4-3. Starting up from we got Waters, Lee, and Waghorn because they're the only three healthy starting strikers. So that's what we're running with. We got McFadson, O'Connor, Gore, and Barnett in the midfield with O'Connell, Fish, and Hayden. And then until Ben Foster retires, he will be kind of in between the posts, hopefully saving a lot of things because uh, he is the best goalkeeper we have by a large margin. I think we're ready to go. I think we just go right into it. Squad numbers will have to be given. I don't care about squad numbers. I think we're just doing this. It's important we make full use of home advantage. I'm going for that. I have faith in everyone. Let's rock and roll, team. Oh, you've got this Daniel Gore is stoked. Frank Frank O'Connell is stoked. And Billy Waters is absolutely pumped. So is Martin Waghorn. Heck yeah. Oh, look at this. The skin is so good. I love this skin. It's wonderful. Now let's get the settings right. I want to make sure our settings... Look at our, look at our dude. Okay, we're skipping, we're going, we're going. Okay, 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 okay. TV camera key highlights, this is all correct. Let's do it, I'm nervous, man, I'm so nervous. Oh, they got the first XG, this is going terribly. This is going so bad. Oh, Foster, her big man with the big save. Why does he have to retire? We don't have a better keeper. All right, hybrid defending, half zonal, half man. Oh, they're running a short corner like a bunch of pricks. Like a bunch of pricks. Get it out of there, go Waghorn. You're not fast, but you are big. Okay, well that was bad, but we we didn't concede, so that's good. These first games make me so nervous. Let's encourage the lads. Let's encourage them. Come on, there we go. Everyone's happy. All right, Frank to Waghorn to Gore. Gore, you are the best playmaker in this division. I want one assist per game. I'll give you double your assist bonus. Well, Ryan Reynolds will give you double your assist bonus. That's exactly what we want from our wingers. Get it to Waghorn. Dang it. That's what we want, though. We want the wingers taking up that position. We don't need them cutting in. Just get up there, cross the ball, get it into the box. You have to run back now, though, because we don't have wing backs. There we go. There we go. It's going okay. Our average positions will be interesting to see if it's working well. Whoop! No! No, I mean, we almost... Oh, oh Dan Kemp. What are we doing? What are we doing? I mean, the slide tackle was great. We didn't break his shins. We almost broke his shins, but yeah, look at that. O'Connell was doing so, doing God's work there, but Foster was out of line. Foster was out of line. We're demanding more. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. We don't lose to McDonald's at home. Waghorn top, well, pff, almost. If Waghorn comes in, we don't even get the corner highlight. That's how bad we are at corner kicks. That's okay. I mean, our wingers are playing up quite high, but that's okay. Man, 10,500 people to disappoint. Gore, the 18-year-old? Is that a penalty? That's a penalty. Yeah, get in there. Get in there. Who's taking it? Who's taking it, baby? Let's go. First goal at the racehorse ground. Wrexham AFC. It's Mr. Lee, and he puts it in. He made that as hard as possible. McGill of Ray almost got it, but Elliot Lee tucks it in. Hell yeah. Oh, 1-1, one, one, baby. It's a tie game. We're going for the draw now. That's a lie. We're going for the... Barnett is hurt. How are people hurt? I mean, I understand how people get hurt in sports. How are this many people hurt? We are not even doing anything crazy. All right, I'm going to take Barnett off because I'll need him. There's two games coming up. Is there anyone who can even play his position? Unlikely. Mr. Cannon? Nope. McAlinden? Also no. Okay, McCormick, kind of, and Gore, no, I would retrain Gore if he wasn't a, can make Fadson, no, okay, McCormick, you're going in, baby, we're just going to have to retrain McCormick here, he's not my first pick, but that's where he's going to be useful, Luke McCormick making his debut in FM24 for a Van Bradley managed team, yeah, we need to step up, everyone needs to step up, let's go. Let's get it together. It's 1-1. It's McDonald's. We're at home. We need to win. We need to win. Luke McCormick's going to score here or get an assist. I'm calling it right now. Luke McCormick has never let me down before. 
There we go. Gore, he's so composed, man. And he's like 18. It's not fair that all the best teams get the best young players. I think there should be a raffle where all the best young players come to Wrexham first, and then we can decide where they go. That's offside, but good good first touch. Yeah. I mean, the, the flag went up, but he didn't score anyway. But we're getting the corner, so the offside doesn't matter. Cool. McCormick never let me down. Dang it. I would have taken another penalty, to be honest. But there we go. Bruh. Bruh! Yes! Waters to McFadson. 2-1. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. All gas, no breaks. Waters to McFadson was not on my bingo for a goal-scoring combination. But we'll take it. There it is. Waters, McFadden. Oh, what a header, too. Like, not even directly into the ground. Just, like, subtly over top. All right, we'll praise the lads. We're winning. And the lads don't care. They're like, uh, we're meant to win by 5-1, to one, so you can't say anything good when we're winning by one goal. All right, knock it down. Waters, get the double assist. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> if it was Waters to McFadson twice, that would have been sick. All right, we are running a high-intensity formation, though. So once we get to, like, minute 70, we want to make sure we're taking care of the people. All right. All right, let's take care of the people. Gore has been great, but Cannon is really good. And we'll just swap him with O'Connor? Nah, maybe not. Cannon's quite good. Is he a... Oh, he's fine. Yeah, Cannon's fine. Um, uh, Linden. He can sub out at striker, but he's real bad at it. Like, he's terrible. So you kind of don't want to. And Tunnicliffe can go in. And maybe he should go in for Frank O'Connell, but he's not great either. Yeah, O'Connell's not playing well and starting to get tired, so I just want to keep people fit. We do have to win these matches, but we also got to keep people fit. We're going to be playing a constant rotation game to try and close out matches with less than desirable people on the pitch. Because like getting the three points now is nice, and we really do need them in all the matches, but... Oh, please, close them down. Thank you, McFadson. Well, that was a terrible place to head the ball to, but... There's so much space there. Yeah, ton of cliff! Get in there with the tackle. There we go. And he didn't let a penalty happen, so that's good. Good work. Ten minutes left. I think we can get to some time-wasting shenanigans. Nine minutes left. Come on. We don't need highlights. We just simply don't need any highlights. Well, let's just close it out. McDonald's doesn't want to win. We don't want to lose. It's a real simple math equation from there. McFadson to Waghorn. Just put it in. Yes! Waghorn! Oh, it's offside. Oh, it's offside. Oh, I got excited. Oh, I got excited with the horn. Someone needs to take that away from me. Oh, darn it. All right, just close it out. Four minutes left. Yes, I know we haven't used all our subs. It's because they're all bad. Oh, no! This is a... We're conceding this, aren't we? Their goalkeeper came up and everything. That's so good. Why are we going to concede this? Oh, we're not. How fun. Oh, we might. <laughs> How not fun. <laughs> oh, good work, O'Connor. Thank God. Okay. Now kick it up the field. Oh, oh, that's a red card. Okay, okay. Just calm it down. Bro, what are we doing? What are we doing? Are we already, did we get another penalty? No way. No way. It's just, this turned up being our penalty. Oh, VAR would have overturned that, but Waghorn for a second. Yeah. Oh, if you had told me that highlight was leading to a Wrexham third goal, I would have smacked you upside the head. Oh, that gave me a heart attack. Okay. 3-1 win against McDonald's. We gave up the one early, but okay. That was fine. Nice work, team. That was good. The Carabao Cup is next. I care less about the Carabao Cup, so I think we'll just rotate for that. Oh, let's try our Uber tactic. <laughs> We're going to try the Uberman, whatever this is called. We're going to try the 3 one 4 one one <laughs> All right, friends, we are going against Crew Alexandria, I believe. That's a Crew Alexandria, my bad. We're doing it in the Carabao Cup, a competition which I do not care about. So we are going to try our best to rotate as much as possible. We're going to try our Flappy Bird formation here um, for no other reason than I'd like to try. So as always, we're going to quick pick and then move things around as we see fit. Okay, well, here's our formation. Then we're going to go ton of cliff, uh, Fish, and Hayden on the back end with Bowden kind of anchoring things down here. Our inverted wingers are McCormick and Davies with O'Connor and Cannon holding down the midfield. Sonny Perkins, fresh from Leeds, coming in as our attacking midfielder, our advanced midfielder. And our advanced forward is Billy Waters. Billy Waters, indeed. Let's start the game. 
I don't care if we win this one. We're here for the vibes. You know what, Sonny Perkins, you can be number 76. Because I love numbers. All right, who's ready? Who's ready for the Flappy Bird formation? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so ready for this. Match preview. Enjoy the match. Enjoy it, baby. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. Let's rock and roll. We got to remember to sub Davies out. Because that's not going to go well. Oh, I'm so ready for this. Let's rock and roll. Carabao Cup. We're going to concede early, aren't we? Oh, Ben Foster's in there. He doesn't... Oh, I should have put um, Rob Layton in. That was my bad. I should have put Rob Layton in. That was really stupid because he needs to be match sharp for when Ben Foster retires. I like to play high lines because the match engine just likes it better. Oh, God. Okay. Well, good work clearing that. The match engine in FM just likes high intensity formations better. I think it has something to do with how calculating each individual action works. Right? Like when you have players, when you're playing a low block and you invite the pressure, the game calculates things more often and just gives them a better chance of calculating them correctly without the pressure. God dang it. Max Woodcock! He doesn't even have a regular cock. It's a wooden cock and he's just scoring goals like... <sighs> My goodness. I'm mad. I'm not actually that mad. I don't actually want to do that well in this competition. It's fine. Uh, we need to demand more. Oh, we are away. We'll encourage. If we're away, we're going to be encouraging. If we're at home, we're demanding more. They are destroying us. How is our defensive flappy bird position not working? Oh, there we go. I'm not going to mess with that anymore. People are stoked. People are ready for the second half. Right, there's a few players we got to get off. Well, did it 60? 60 minutes? Come on, let's encourage the team. Let's go get a goal. Billy Waters is out there. He's a lad who can kick a ball into a net. All right, 60 minutes. It's sub time. All right, Waghorn's going in up front. Faux show. Can Waghorn? No, we'll keep Sonny Perkins out there. Uh, Max Kluwerth is going in for Will Fish. But can you be a ball? No. Can Tunnicliffe play the ball? No. Hayden? My God, no one can play the ball here. Okay. We're just going to be a regular defender, and we're just going to send the ball to anyone else. Thank you. All right. And then what else do we want to do here? I wouldn't mind getting Luke Young. Oh, we want Mendy in for some time. And Luke Young. We want Luke Young in for O'Connor. Look at us rotating, everybody. We know which competitions we want to win and which ones we don't. And we're rotating the team to prevent unnecessary injuries. We do need a goal, though. I don't know how many times I can encourage you. Attack. I'm not going to intentionally try to lose. I don't care if we lose, but we need to play well. There we go. Wake horn. It's up. Ton of cliff. Nope. All right, Luke Young, you're getting your shot. Oh, that's a penalty. No, Luke Young. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it don't matter. We don't need that penalty because Luke Young, he's got a sniper rifle pointed at that corner. He's got that ball on a trajectory. Holy smokes. Look at this. Boink. First touch. Boop. Sorry, Booth. Oh, what a dream. How fun. Okay, we don't need to attack anymore. Is there extra time in this? If there's extra time in this, I quite would like to attack, actually, so we don't have to play any more minutes. Please go straight to pens. Please go straight to pens. Please go straight to pens. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I feel quite good about our penalty takers, to be honest. I'll go Waghorn. Bowden. Let's go in order. McCormick. Ooh, Andy Cannon. Then Jacob Mendy. Luke Young above that even, because Jacob Mendy's composure is a little lower, yeah. Okay, we're good. Pep talk. Let's rock and roll. Show the courage of your convict. What are our convictions? Like, kick ball in net? Good? Is there, are those our convictions? Like, like, what can a football team have in terms of convictions? Let's rock and roll. All right, Waghorn. We got this. We got this. Boink! Haha, <laughs> suck it, Booth. Here we go. We old Ben, old Ben Foster. Old Ben Foster's gonna save them all, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got them down. We got them dead to rights. 
All right, new boy Bowden. Bottom right. Okay. Oh, that's in. That's in. Ref, 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 ref. You saw that. Whoa, 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 whoa. How do I change? Look at that. Ref, are you saying this didn't go in? Look at that. <laughs> Look. Ref, you can't tell me this is not in the net. Are you for real? Okay, 2D has him outside the net, though. If you go to 2D, he is outside the net. Oh, that one looks a little more inconclusive. Okay, ref. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to get... I'm doing the Jose Mourinho. If I speak, I'll be in trouble. Boink. Gosh, darn it. I thought we had it. I thought Foster's... Okay, Luke McCormick, I spent a record transfer fee on you just because I liked you from a previous football manager. That's why I liked you, Luke. Oh, I'm such a Luke stan. He could be the worst player on this team, and I'm going to have his back. The other players are going to hate me. <laughs> Colkit. Oh, watch on that bounce. It's going to roll back in. Okay, Colkit missed. Okay, Mr. Cannon. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Oh, we're feeling good. Oh, we're feeling so good. Getting the penalties with us is the worst. I think we're an elite penalty taking team in league two. I think Ben, until Ben Foster retires, that is. I think Ben Foster is probably one of the better penalty savers, except when you kick it right where he was standing. Then he's not so good. But just in general, percentage of penalties saved, I think he's elite, would be my guess. And then we got a bunch of good strikers. So um, two of our best strikers, I'm assuming good penalty takers, are injured at the moment. Let's rock and roll, Mr. Young. That's the win. <laughs> That's two wins on the season for Wrexham. And we got farther in the competition we didn't care about. Now we're going to have to play even more matches. I'm very pleased, though. Look at that morale boost. Look at that. Thank you so much for watching this video on the VB Plays channel. If you want to check out the main channel, that is Van Bradley. That is in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of those fun things so these videos get out to more people. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.